At this moment, our drawing consists of several individual geometries, and if you would like to machine, for example, an external shape, it would be difficult because we don't really have a geometry that completely represents the outer contour of the part. But how do you check it? One way we got to know in previous video, it was to use delete option to check if the geometry is single. But this is not a typical way to check whether geometry is a single geometry or composed of several smaller ones. And another way is to use the ghost tool option. From the view tab, select display option and ghost tool option. White arrows appeared in the drawing and each arrow means a single geometry. It also means that the direction and site of machining. Now choose from the machine tab two directions and as you can see we have two types of geometry. First it's open geometries and second closed geometries. Open geometries are geometries whose begin and end lie at the different point. On our example drawing these are lines. This line, this, this and this line. This is the start point and this is the end point of the line. Closed geometries are geometries whose begin and end are at the same point. On our drawing these are circles and rectangle. For each type of geometry we can specify the direction and site of machining. We will discuss this option on the example of an external rectangle. This is closed geometry and we will use the options in the closed geometries section. For closed geometries we have more options and the options we have for open geometries are very similar and their effect is practically the same. As for direction, we can determine the clockwise cutting direction, counterclockwise, and reverse to what is currently set or leave with no change. Select no change option when you only want to change the machining side. At this moment, the arrow of the cutting direction of the rectangle is directed to the right counterclockwise and suppose you want to receive climb milling. Therefore, we have to change the direction of machining to clockwise. Select this option and without closing tool directions window, click on the rectangle. The arrow has changed its direction but it still lies on the geometry and if the arrow is centrally on the geometry, it means that the tool center will move along the geometry. If the rectangle represents the size of the part, then in this case, where the arrow lies centrally on the geometry, we get an undercut equal to the diameter of the tool. Tool radius per side and we get an undercut equal diameter in the whole dimension. To change this from the site section for closed geometries select the outside option. And again click on the rectangle and now the arrow will be outside of the geometry and it means that the entire diameter of the tool will also be outside the rectangle and there will now be undercutting of the material in this case. Okay, we will back to the tool directions later.